beads and how I buy them. This is a video on that. So most of you guys, when you guys go bead shopping, you guys probably buy out one or two hanks at a time and call it good. I'm quite opposite. I actually go and this is like four hanks. This is straight off from the bag. It's not been cut. It's not been tagged because I want a bunch of beads. So when I buy beads, I buy them in multiple hanks in multiple colors. Just because I may run out of a color, may run out of a bead I like, or you never know when the project's gonna come out where you need a certain color. I mean, some are really pretty, but some be beads are pretty scary to use, such as 24 karat gold beads, strong silver beads. Beads are high priced. That one cost me $24 a hink, and I got two of them. I would have got another one, but I was kind of eh. But I don't necessarily just go and buy this much beads in one time. This is me doing multiple trips to multiple or getting multiple beads from multiple trips. There's some times where I get three colors, sometimes I get four colors, sometimes I get like ten colors, and each color I'll get about three or four hanks in. Just to keep my beads my beads stock high. I don't like having being low on beads because you never know. Like I said, what's gonna happen when you need beads, when you're not gonna need need, need 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 beads. But this is a small example of me resupplying myself. I kept these kept these uh here because my wall I'm kinda show you how fast. Excuse this out. My wall of beads here is getting quite full. I mean, there's the beads, there's every, I don't know, I want to say every color, but probably not. There's probably more, more colors out there, but I can't find or can't use. Plus, my jars are full. I got jars up there on top, jars over here. I got beads on top that are different colors than what's in the jar, so I need more room. These little jars aren't helping. So, my plan was, let me just tighten this up real fast, to use different jars. These are spice jars. They're a little thinner and taller than this. You see that? And it fits perfectly in there. So it's going to take less space, and hopefully I can get a little more jars in here across. So I'm going to have to redo all of this again with these jars even though i spent money on these it doesn't really it looks nice but with those ones i think i'll fit better it's a lot more clear so you can see the actual color of the beads inside this one's kind of hard to see because of the ribbed edge diamond edge you can see it's hard to see the color so when you transfer that color into here you can see the actual difference so now i can actually see the color turn this side and see how many is exactly in there the number of the actual number of the tag and know how many punch beads i have instead of having to guess and see through that so i'm going to upgrade to these jars and i found these on amazon i'll probably put a link in the description for you guys and link to everywhere else to go well, not only that, I got those, but I swear, I need to get a different stand. But I got another, a new place to try out beads. So this place is called Aurora Crystals. AuroraCrystals.com, so you can see look at it. I'll probably put that in the description too as well. But I ordered some beads. This is, I think, $45 worth of beads. I don't remember. When I have money, I buy beads. And I just throw beads and beads in baskets. And then I kind of decide what I really want and what I don't want. And then I'll separate it from that. So, ooh, look at that. Fancy. I do need to upgrade my packaging stuff. But these are 15s.
since I use 13s and 15s a lot. Jesus. I use 13s and 15s a lot and let's see how much I spent. $46. And I did, I did get a coupon with it, so I, it should have been $51. <laughs> what I was out is uh, neon green. So I made sure I had enough. I bought other purples because I was out of, almost out of purples. I can't really see the color, but purples, a gray, or what is this? Yep, gray AB crystal. So it's gonna be shiny. Oh my gosh. Sometimes packages can be a little overdone. Not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, this is that turquoise color I got. Not bad. The purples I was looking for. These ones I was out of. Royal purple. This is not a purple that was needed. Actually, this is a different color. Red violet. Oh, sorry for that. There we go. Red violet. This one here is should be royal purple. Yep. Silver lined. These ones are neat. I like these ones a lot. Bright purple, opaque. I use this one quite a bit, actually. And then a lavender, transparent. More purples in. This one is, I don't know how to say that. Violet. Dyed. New, another purple again. Red violet and then the metallic gunmetal. So now I gotta go through and I think this is roughly around $150, $160, maybe $200 for the beads. $45 right here, my hand. <laughs> Plus another almost $50, $48. dollars So that's roughly $100 for the beads. Plus all of this here. So I do spend a lot on my collection. The jars, I think I spent like $50 on them because I bought two of the, two of the same color of the, or not, two of the same kind of jars. So now I have to go and start organizing my beads. I don't want to do that, but you know. It's all part of the job and part of what I do. Anywho. So that's kind of how I buy beads. Like massive amounts because I do a lot of crazy jobs, a lot of crazy things. And yeah. So really this is kind of a video I'm doing. This is kind of a personal vlog, <laughs> I guess. My desk update. So, next time I do my update, I'll have more jars on, on the wall. So, I'm going to fit on the wall of these new ones. I want to see how many fit across. Because if I can get more up there, right now I have 88 jars on the wall. If I can get to 100, that'd be awesome. But if I need to rebuild my shelf, then I'll rebuild my shelf. So, stay tuned for that. And I'll probably have an update video sometime next week of how my shelf looks. So, thank you guys and hope you guys enjoyed that.